Okay, in this problem, we have uh, 24 immigrants to the U.S. were asked how many years to the nearest year they have lived in the U.S. And the data are as follows. So I, I've just written those, or typed those in down here in this column, the way they appeared. And then here, we were given the class boundaries right here. And then we're asked to um, fill in the rest of the table. So what we'll do first is uh, fill in the frequency column right here. And then once we do that, then this column, all we would have to do is divide by the total number of data points that we have, which is 24. So, Alright, so how do we fill in this column right here? Well, um, what we would do is go through and count how many data points are in the range from 0 to 1.99 for this first frequency right here. So uh, we would just go through and count and look through until we get a number that's in that range. So here, 1 is in between 0 and 1.99. So that would be one of the data points. Here's another one that's in between 0 and 1.99. And that's about it. So that's a 2 right there. Um, one way to make this a little easier is if you sort it, which uh, by hand can take a little bit. Uh, on the calculator or um, or the uh, sp the spreadsheet that I have right here, it's a little bit easier, and so that would make it easier to count up these classes. So we can see that the only data points that are between zero and 1.99 are these two right here. Those are in that range right here. Okay, so next we will go to the next one, and we would count up the number of data points that would be. Um, between 2 and 3.99. So there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 of those guys. And so we would go and put a 7 right there in that column. So there are 7 of those right there. Next, the number of data points that are in the range from 4 to 5.99. So that would be 1, 2, 3, 4 of those guys. So I would put a 4 right in here. Next, in the range from 6 to, to 7.99, we would have just these two 7s right here. So that would be a 2. Next, um, from 8 to 9.99, there's 0 in that category. Next, 10 to 11.99 so that would be 1, 2 one, 2 in that category 12 to 13.99 that's 2 and then next range is 14 to 15.99 so that would include these two 15 right here then um, 16 to 17 there's 0 18 to 19.99 also 0 and then 20 we have two of those 22 to 23.99 there's no data point that fits into that category and then 24 to 25.99 is one of those so we put one right here okay so we, we just went through and counted up how many of these data points were in each one of those ranges to get the frequency and then to get the relative frequency we know that we have 24 data points so we would just divide 2 by 24 And that's what we would get. And then we would just do that for each of these data points right there. And so those are the relative frequencies that we would end up.